In order to start a building model, a designer must set up their design environment by creating a new work set and design file. In this course, you will actually build a 3D BIM model of a small transportation station shown in the design sketches here. In this first session, you will learn how to create a new work set for your design project and then create a new design model to start the project. So let's start Open Buildings Designer. Upon starting up Open Buildings Designer, you will find that you need to select a work set and a workspace. Every file created should belong to a work set, basically a set of files and folders that all belong to the same project. Creating a new work set creates a set of folders that contain and define the files and standards for that project. Every work set will belong to a workspace that defines common standards for all the projects in that workspace. Select the workspace that you created when you installed the course data set. Open Buildings Training. There were two work sets installed along with the workspace, the Learning Open Buildings Designer US and Learning Open Buildings Designer NM. You will create a new work set using one of these work sets as a template. One is in US units, feet and inches. The other is in metric units, millimeters. Choose the units you prefer to work in. From the Workset pull-down, select Create a Workset. Create a name and description for your new workset. Then select the template that you wish to use and select OK. A new workset is created with all the necessary folders, subfolders, and library files. Now you will create a new design file so that you can start to model the building. Open Buildings uses a federated approach to the building model, meaning that any number of models can be referenced together to create the completed building model. Typically, each discipline will have a separate model and those may be further divided by floors and systems, allowing multiple team members to work on various parts of the model at the same time. Now this station is a fairly simple building with only one floor, so we will only create two models, an architectural model and a structural model. We will start with the architectural model. Select the new file icon, give the new file a name, a station model, a is to indicate that this is an architectural model. Whenever you create a new file, you will want to pay attention to the seed file used to create the new file. Select the Browse button. There are three basic seed files in Open Buildings Designer. A design seed used for 3D design models, a drawing seed used for 2D drawing files, and a sheet seed used for sheet files set up with a border sheet for plotting. For this course, we will use a special seed that contains all three model types in a single file with a design model, drawing models, and a sheet model. Select the design, drawing, sheet, arc.dgn file. Select open. This resets the seed file for the new file you will create. We are currently viewing the design model. This is where you will build the 3D model of the station building. As mentioned earlier, this DGN file contains additional models for several drawings and a sheet. We will explore these later. For now, we will focus on the 3D model. In this session, you have learned how to create a new work set for your project and create a new DGN model file using a seed file. In the next session, we will review the ribbon interface. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.